it's quite exhilarating and, and pretty frightening sometimes out there today. In 1947, a, a naturalist visited St Kilda for the first time. And as he left, he said that one of the problems anyone who came here would have for the rest of their lives would be trying to describe the place to anyone who hadn't seen it. And I completely sympathise with that sentiment. And it's the scale of the place, uh, the abundance of the wildlife, the gannet colonies, uh, the actual size of the cliffs, and the power of the heritage of St Kilda. And I'm so, so pleased I made the journey. Uh, I think it's something that I'll never, ever forget. There we go. <coughs> Unless you can make it on a fishing boat and work effectively, the fishermen out here, you know, they, they don't really respect you unless you can do that. You know, some passenger is just hurling over the side and lying in his bunk, pointless, just dead weight. Thank you so much for having me on board. Really, really appreciate it. All right, Cheers, mate. Take All it best. easy. Okay, Sorry. take care. Cheers. 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 I'd, I'd sail with him again. I would. So, yeah, he, he done very well. It was a pleasure sailing with him. Groups, you're not helping. You're a tail with an idiot hanging off it. <laughs> I'm just going to explain the anatomy of roofs to you. At the back of the head here is a tiny little vestigial brain for eating and chasing pebbles. The whole of the head here is tongue. It's like a fire hose rolled up. And all of this is designed to just produce drool and shed hair. And if you're wondering about the sudden preponderance of black dogs, I think Reuben, he reproduces like an amoeba. You know, every night I leave him, he buds and another black dog appears. The day shift has logged off. The night shift has gone to work. It's mean and moody, and the animals here mean business. You find yourself in moderately strange situations in life, and this is one of them. I'm in a cave with feeding sharks. They're very well designed to be in here, and I'm not sure I am, quite frankly. There are many enduring mysteries about the Great Barrier Reef, particularly at night, but this is one of the more enchanting ones. So watch this. Here we go, look at this, look at this. Vivid, vivid colours. Doesn't look real. Looks like some bizarre sort of galactic broccoli is what it looks like. This is probably the most exciting moment of my entire miserable life. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Are you okay? Is it going? There we are. Got him. The most clumsy ham fist is the poor animal. First one. My debut tag. My debut tag. Um, tag. Well, that's great. It's another tag deployed. Um, and the information from that tag, if it's recited, will be invaluable to tell the movements of that shark and indeed the movements of the whole species off the coast of Ireland. So you don't want to burst the intestines because it gets very messy then. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to do all my boxer shorts like that. <laughs> this is what the US and the Outer Hebrides are all about. And there's certain places where nature holds sway over man. And this is one of them, I think. This is Britain's wilderness. Fantastic sight. Even Rubes is excited. 